here is go back, 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 back. back. Okay, welcome back to Camping Panda. Uh, today I'm just going to do a very short video and then share with you all my fire starting kit. This is my go-to bag for fire starting. Uh, I can just grab it from my shelf and then uh, put it into my hiking bag or my camping bag. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, inside here has everything that I use, I have been trained or I have used at and I'm proficient with it. I'm very confident with starting fire from it. Okay, this is my patch. Okay, uh, if you notice, I did not put anything here in front because with things inside already, it's actually pretty tightly, uh, tightly packed. Uh, stuffing things inside uh, just doesn't make sense, huh? Okay, all lay out here. Okay, I'm going to do from my right to left what I have inside here that I. Can choose uh, in terms of how to start a fire okay first thing here on the right side here is you can see there is fat wood okay maybe just put it closer fat wood fat wood is a very common way of starting fire to process the fat wood of course on body i may i should have my fixed blade with me or at least a multi-tool if all fails i have this opinion knife very small one. I do not need anything very heavy. It's basically just enough for me to shave off a bit of fat wood. Just to get an initial spark. Uh, get a small flame going and then start building up my fire. You know, the standard from your matchstick size to your pencil size and then to your main fuel. Huh? Okay, this is one way. Another way that is uh, for me to start my fire uh, the easy way. Of course, it's the Soto Butane with the extending neck. Okay, it's a jet flame. Uh, there's a safety catch. Okay, jet flame. If I say no, just a simple one, put it there, have my things ready. Uh, probably you will see later also what I can use it with. My bellow, extendable bellow. Practically just to help me to blow fresh air into the core of the fire to peel up the fire, the flame. Okay, I'll let you know why is there a carabiner here later. Okay, of course, standard start my fire rod, striking rod with the striker. Okay, of course, I can use the knife or my on body fixed blade, but it's always good to have a spare. The standard bit lighter oh yeah, not much things need to say about it these are just uh, twines you know uh, something that I can cut off fluff it up with my finger make it into a bundle catch a spark or using the lighter or using the butane lighter and you can easily uh, get the fire going okay behind alcohol swipe of course in case I cut my finger from starting the fire or the alcohol swipe itself is a good in the igniter. Uh, cotton. Uh, it's not prepped in Vaseline because uh, it is not really airtight uh, in this plastic. So I did not put it with Vaseline so it's not prepped. But after fluffing it up, catching a spark is still very easily done. Okay. And then behind what I have here is Hexamine tablet, okay, few tablet. This will go with the big lighter or the butane. Why do I have a big uh, hexamine tablet? Sometimes in condition I've experienced like wet grounds or windy, this fuel helped me to sustain a small fire as I build up my main fire. Okay, this is purely a, a cheat. A cheat you can call it a cheat okay or i can have it below them with my fire bundle all on top slowly build up because the tweet may be a bit wet or the tweet is not as dry as i wanted it to be and behind the last thing here is of course the matches okay these matches are those that will be 
still can be used when it's windy or you put it down you put it in water you take it back out it will still uh, continue to light up okay um, with this matches again is uh, candles these are not your typical birthday candles these are those trick candles again it's a cheat for me once I have it light the flame will keep going it enable me to buy me some more time to you know build my main fire the bundle use the flame from here go back the bundle the flame went off I can come back here get a, uh, the source from here and then go back to the bundle so this is those trick candle once you blow it off it re reignite okay trick candles so I have two sources of uh, cheating material if you can call it this way but it does help me in certain conditions of windy condition or wet condition okay so that's about all actually uh, for my fire kit is very simple all these ways of lighting fire I've tried I've used over the two or three years it has been proven very successful to me and I've kept it very simple nothing fancy for uh, now back to this carabiner if let's say I want to carry this pouch with me but I do not want to put it in the pocket you know or your cargo pants pocket what I can do is I can take a carabiner put it back here hook it here hook it to my belt loop or hook it to my belt itself or hook it to the back or something that's on me okay then I will carry this along on body anytime anyway uh, as I'm walking around the camp or I'm moving uh, I'm, I'm going out to explore so this one become on me I think that's about all a very simple video short video just to show you my go-to carry fire starting pouch okay that's about all thank you thank you for watching uh, remember to subscribe and like and if let's say comment if let's say any things that you find that uh, could suggestion for me inside here my fire kit okay bye bye